Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty McKean from Nao Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do leopard print with gel polish. Because we all like a bit of an animal. Some people say I'm an animal. <laughs> I already have a nail already done on the beautiful JJ. It's a nice almond shape nail. Almond slash stiletto, some people might say. I'm going to use these three colours. So I'm going to use 412, this black, which we you know is Trouble Zero Two, and this colour. I'm going to go straight on with the colour. If I was doing this on a natural nail, I would put the base coat on first. But because I'm using an acrylic nail, I can go straight on with the colour. This has got no top coat on it or anything like that. It's just a raw nail. It's been buffed and that's it. I'm going to do two coats of colour. And I'll cure both layers as well. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm going to pop these colours, just a bit of it, onto this little palette that I've got here. This is just a little disc. This is actually an old stamping disc. So I'm just using that as a palette. So we're going to go into the brown first. So this is like a a ready brown I would say and you're going to do this quite thin so you're literally using a short detail brush random patches some big some little Now everybody loves a bit of leopard print. Leopard print never ever goes out of fashion. It's always on trend. And then we're going to cure that. So now I'm going to get the black. A little bit of that on the brush. And then... I'm going to paint around the edge so you get this arced shape. Now you don't want to completely close it. So I'm not doing like a circle. And I'm doing brush strokes rather than just. So like, I don't, this is what I don't want to do. Yeah, that looks alright. But if you do brush strokes... It's more realistic, so you've got more like a, a fur effect. So it's just quite simple, the simple shapes. You can sort of pat it on and then create your little brush stroke lines. I'm just going to add a little bit of depth to the colour by adding a little bit more black closer to those little brown sections we've done. Just literally dabbing with the end of the brush. Dab, dab. I'm going to pop that into the lamp and cure. Now that's cured, I'm going to top coat that. I'm 
and this shouldn't be too lumpy bumpy because we kept the paints quite thin I say paints I mean gel polish so when I was painting the design I kept everything really thin if you do it thick you'll always have a bit of lumpy bumpiness that's just the nature of gel polish but with this design we won't is that the official term of course it's the official term lumpy bumpiness, lumpy bumpiness. Lump. <laughs> I'm going to finish that nail off with some cuticle oil. Got the peach, a bit of peach look. Just for Adam. Yeah, Adam loves a bit of peach. So we're also going to show you how to do this in a French design. So doing it on the tip, not French. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. I think that's my interpretation of a French person. I think that's because I can't speak French. So when you're doing it on a French tip, so you're doing the design on the free edge, the only difference really is you're going to paint the background colour on the free edge. So I've already got a nice colour on the nail bed, which is natural beige, I believe it is. So... That's quite a nice colour already, so we don't need to add a colour there. If you were doing this on a natural nail and you wanted something a little bit more, you know, pinky beige, then you could put a gel polish colour there if you wanted to. So you can get a crisp smile line by using a detailing brush. That always helps if you can't quite get it really crisp with the actual brush from the bottle. So obviously it's a lot bigger and nails are very small especially if you were doing this on like a itsy bitsy teeny weeny nail like a you know your little pinky finger getting that smile line as neat as you want to isn't always that easy so you can always use a detailing brush pop that in lamp give that a cure When you do the second coat, it's a lot easier to just butt up straight to that smile line you've created. You'll find that. You can use that technique of using a detailing brush if you want to. But it is a lot easier to just go right up to it. The gel will sit crispy on top of gel as well. So because I'm not going straight onto the acrylic it will also hold a little bit neater as well. So there you are, that's what it looks like on a French style nail. So just doing the design on the tip. You'll notice that I've added tiny little dots here right up those corners of the smile line. If you miss those pieces off, it can you kind of lose that definition. The eye is not drawn to that smile line. So you just need those few little dots up the sides where you run out of space to just continue the pattern all the way up. So there you are guys, I hope you've loved our leopard print inspired nail design. Don't forget to check it out on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to check out my Instagram as well and my Facebook because, you know, you want to see what I'm doing too. Description box below has all the products we've used today and we will see you, yes you, in the next video. Bye bye! Do you know what you can do if you can't get that line, that smile line really crisp? You could put a line of glitter there that always hides any, you know, wibbly wobbly lines. Or diamonds. Or diamonds, yes, JJ, it's a good one. Yeah, little diamonds, for real diamonds, of course. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs>